Hi, and welcome to the video series with Modules Unraveled. My name is Brian Lewis, and this time we're going to be going through the video module, and we're going to use Zencoder to convert our videos to our desired format, and we're also going to use the Amazon S3 service to um, take advantage of their content delivery network uh, so that our videos are distributed quick and efficiently. The modules that we're going to need for this series uh, start with Amazon S3. We will also need the AWS SDK for PHP. And we'll need the library's API. You'll need at least the 2.x dev version for this. We will use the VideoJS player to play our videos. We will, of course, need the video module for this. And finally, we will use the video presets module uh, to give us our presets that we're going to use. Okay, I've installed the modules, but before we enable them, we need to install a couple of libraries. The first will be the VideoJS library, and the second will be the AWS SDK for PHP library. Okay, I've installed the libraries into my Sites All Libraries folder. For the AWS SDK for PHP, you'll need to make sure that sdk.class.php is in Sites All Libraries AWS SDK sdk.class.php. For video.js, you'll need to make sure that your video.js is installed at sites all libraries video-js video.js. Now we'll go ahead and enable the modules that we need to use. We're going to enable Amazon S3, video presets, AWS SDK for PHP, AWS SDK for PHP UI, video, video UI, video JS, and libraries. Now to make sure that our libraries are installed correctly, we're going to go to reports, status report, and here we can see that AWS SDK is installed correctly. And if we scroll down to the very bottom, VideoJS is also installed correctly. If you have one of these in the wrong place, it'll be a red bar instead of green, and uh, just double check that they're installed in the correct places. 